Hi guys, I'm What Beck Sews. Welcome back to my channel if you're a subscriber and welcome if you are new. I hope you've all had a fantastic Jubilee Bank Holiday weekend. Today I'm going to share with you my June sewing plans. <laughs> I cannot believe it is June already. How has that come round so quick? This month is flying by. Please excuse the washing behind me. I have been in Scarborough for a week. My tumble dryer is broken. I am desperate to get some new fabrics through the wash. So I'm trying to get all my other washing done and hung out in every crook and nanny. Crook, hook and that crook and nanny. Whatever the saying is in my house. So hence why you can see it behind me. It's also underneath you and behind you. Um, so I'm going to talk about my June sewing plans. Now, throughout me, May and May, I wore five garments a week. Um, there were five outfits a week, but they were very much the same because I didn't have a lot in my wardrobe of fully me made uh, garments that I could either pull together or um, that I'd actually made. I mean, I have garments in my wardrobe. I have a fair few garments, but usually I'll mix and match them with my ready to wear stuff. Um, and what this showed me was I either need more dresses in my wardrobe or I need some more separates and some planes so I can start matching, which I kind of knew when I went into it. What me made May did, to, did for me was to show me that um, I do reach for most of my garments. I only have one or two that will be going into recycling. So my focus this month is not to purchase any fabric and not to purchase any patterns and to sit and shop from my stash. Now I have spent an awful lot of time this weekend going through my fabric boxes and my pattern stash, reorganising everything at the same time, which was quite therapeutic, but also just sitting there and pairing some of the things up and really thinking hard about what I need in my wardrobe and what plans I want to do. So, you've seen this fabric a number of times. I've actually shared it with you. Um, and I've been quite unsure about what I've wanted to make with it. And it's this gorgeous green floral linen, viscose linen fabric. Now, I've looked at lots of different things for this. Um, I've just been quite unsure. And I've actually decided, I think this would make a beautiful piece for work. Um, it's not too bold. Um, but it is quite a smart colour and I think that it would go very well with this dress and this dress is the penny dress by Sew Over It. Now this particular pattern came free in a magazine for me. I have sewn a couple of Sew Over It items and they've gone down quite well. I quite like this because it's got an elasticated waist, it's also got a button down um, front, it's got a slight collar to it and it's got a quite a flattering grown on sleeve. So I think this would look lovely in this fabric and I think the fabric would fit, um, would fit, would suit this pattern quite well. Um, and again, it would be a great work make. So that is my first make that I want to make this month in no particular order. I do have ambitious plans, just going to pre-warn you. Um, so the next thing that I found when I was going through my stash was a free pattern that I got with another magazine. Again, this is um, one of the one of the big fours, so you call it. It's not an indie pattern company. I don't make these very often because the instructions are usually atrocious, um, but it looks like quite a straightforward make. So I thought I'd give it a go. So this is a pattern that can be used for um, crepes, chalet, silk, cotton blends. Um, and it just requires a button and some elastic to go with it. So this is the pattern, it's the Butterick pattern. And the one that I'm looking to make is this one here, um, but possibly in this length, but certainly without the flutter or the, the frill sleeve, um, definitely this one here. I've got enough fabric to make the longer version. Now I shared this fabric a little while back in a fabric haul that I did. It was um, the one that I got from my local fabric shop and it's this gorgeous paisley colour and it actually reminds me a little bit of the fabric that I've seen so many people share from Beyond the Pink Door and um, that I've seen a few people make into the slip dresses and I thought for me because I wouldn't really do a slip dress that would go quite nicely with that and like I said there is enough there to make the longer version if I want but I think what I'll do 
is I'll start off with a view of making this version and then uh, with making, sorry, this length. And then if I try it on and I feel that it would look better in a maxi, then I will do that because either of these versions could be worn to work um, with a cardi or something like that over it. I have got a bit of focus on my work wardrobe for some of my things um, this month, but I've also got a few casual things and items that I know that I'm very much lacking in my wardrobe that I'm thinking of as well. So next thing I want to get made up is the raglan tea. Now I did do a, and this is by Soha 7. Again, this was free with a magazine. You can tell I've been going through my stash. Um, I'm going to make the version here that's on the model. It's a woven t-shirt pattern by Soha 7. And I am going to make it out of this cotton dobby that I got um, from a D-Stash account on um, Instagram. And again, I love this colour and I think this would look great. Um, it's got birds all over it. And I think this would be great to wear more like a blousy type top. Um, I know it's a t-shirt pattern, but it would look more like a blousy type top in this fabric um, to wear to work with a pair of trousers. Um, with the warmer months, I thought that would be quite light and breezy. And I've only got about a meter and a bit of that fabric there. So I've de been desperate to use it. I've had it sitting there for a while. I keep looking at it um, and I just haven't um, haven't got around to making anything or deciding what I want to. So I finally made a decision. I am going to use it and it's going to be part of my June plans. So the next um, one that I've got that I'd like to get made up, and I know you're thinking more, more. Yes, more. I have lots more. Um, quite scary amounts, really. Definitely not going to get them all done. So again, this is a new pattern to me, and it is the Tammy Handmade Readdress. And this is this has been inspired by um, the Yorkshire Sew Girls make. It looked absolutely gorgeous on her. I want to um, make this in this funky fabric. So this is the pattern here, and this is the fabric that I've chosen. This fabric I got from Rainbow Fabrics is a very bold, definitely a Becky fabric. Um, I absolutely love this and it's got a black background. Um, I don't think I could probably get away with wearing it to work, um, but it is certainly a summer occasion, not occasion, but a summer dress for me. So the rear dress is a loose fitting gathered dress pattern that has a relaxed and comfortable fit. The slip on design has no tricky fastenings and is the perfect dress pattern for beginners. The bodice is semi fitted and lined with the dress having a looser fit at the waist and hips and is eff this is effortlessly stylish and comfy dress with a gathered skirt and a ruffle at the bottom that will stand out in your wardrobe. So I think this would be perfect, these two paired together. I think I could probably layer this on a chillier day and put a top underneath it. Um, I did see that the Rowan had to go down a size. Um, so I'm going to have a look at how that looks because I tend to find I don't need to drop a size. Um, but I have seen an awful lot of people saying this. And because it's loose around the waist and the hips, I think I probably will need to. Um, because usually that's the area I have the problem with with my mum tum. So that's my next make. Okay, so I shared with you in my May Makes my Style Arc Hope dress, which was one of my Make Nines, um, after having a very, very disastrous attempt on my first one from having a bad sewing day. My second one went fantastically and looks amazing, and I'm absolutely in love with it. But I love the dress, and I want to try and make a more subtle version that I could get away with wearing at work, because it is a comfy dress. So, this is the Style Arc um, Hope woven dress from, um, from, how Style Arc, from? from Style Arc, um, and it's this loose fitting sort of smock dress. Um, it says here that it's for medium, um, so it's not challenging, it's not easy, it's for medium um, sort of experience levels. I found it very easy to sew up, to be perfectly honest with you. The first attempt that I had, I really was having a bad sewing day. Um, it, it wasn't the fact that there was anything complicated or tricky. What I did do is switch out the um, interfacing and changed it for bias binding instead. Now, what I'm going to make this out to make it more work appropriate is this lovely viscous crepe that I got from Rainbow Fabrics. Again, this has been sitting in my stash now for probably about a year. It's been a while. Um, and I thought this fabric would be quite versatile because it's definitely a spring, summery kind of fabric. But I thought it'd also take me into autumn as well. 
um, with all these different colour flowers on it. Just about get away with it, in, or maybe going into sort of end of September. So it'll do me more than just the summer season and the spring season, which will be quite nice. Um, so yes, that's another thought for the fact that I need some more work clothes, uh, work appropriate me mates. So the next pattern, I have two makes that I want to make that are exactly the same. So when I was going on holiday, I started sorting through um, my wardrobe and I realised I had no real me made shorts. I've got one pair, but they were a 12 pair and I really only wear them for around the house because there were some fitting issues with them. Um, so I've shared with you the fact that I've made the Saguaro pants and that I had to make a few adjustments they were still a little bit loose on me I'm going to make a pair of shorts out of these so I'm going to use this pattern and make them a short length one of the things I like about this pattern is the fact that they it is wide leg um, and I am a curvy woman and I always find with shorts they tend to be too tight around the tops of my thighs so I thought these would work perfectly now keeping with the fact that I need some plainer fabrics to uh, mix and match in my wardrobe I thought these would, this would be perfect. I got this from Rainbow Fabrics and I believe it's a viscous linen. Um, I can't remember because I couldn't find the um, ticket, but it definitely looks like one. Um, so this is khaki coloured. I think it would work really well. It's obviously a versatile colour that I can mix and match with lots of different things. I think I've got about two and a half metres of this fabric. And what I like to try and do is cut my saguaro shorts and then if I've got enough, um, see if I can make a pair of Safia collots from Tilly and the Buttons as well. The collots aren't something I necessarily need to make this month, but it's just whilst I'm cutting into the fabric, I might do that because there are only two pan pieces and they're quite straightforward. But we'll just see how much it takes out of that fabric from the square because it's quite a wide pattern, even though shorts theoretically shouldn't be as much. So I also want to make another pair. Now these ones are a little bit bolder, probably not everybody's cup of tea, but I think they would make fantastic shorts. In fact, I was sitting there staring at all of the fabrics yesterday and I was like, I love them. I have to make saguaro shorts out of them, just have to. So um, I think because you've got the red and the white, I'd definitely be able to pair it with a couple of white t-shirts that I've got. Um, I've got a red t-shirt, I've got black t-shirts. Um, so I've definitely got options there that I can pair these with. Um, and they just, they it, it feels so summery. Um, but I'm just going to have to make it. I'm either going to love them or I'm going to hate them. But it's going to be one of those things when they're made up. If it turns out the way I'm envisioning, then it will be fantastic and it will work really well. So that's my two pairs of shorts. They're quick makes. I'm hoping to get them cut out and I can pro like process with process them, process them. Well, it is processing really, but um, get on with the process of making them throughout the week because they don't require massive amounts of concentration and thought. Um, they're not complex makes. Um, so I'm going to draft the pattern up um, for the shorts from the pattern that I've cut um, on a separate one just so I can reuse it and I don't have to keep tracing off every time. Um, I'll do that probably tonight. I'll sit and have fun doing that and um, get them cut so I can maybe start them this week. Now, another pattern that I have got cut and I've cut this this morning is the um, hazel dress um, by Rosary Apparel. Now, I made my toile version um, in my So Haley Jane fabric um, back in March and I made this version before and I'm going to make this version now. And this is going to be made out of this beautiful jewels cotton fabric that I picked up from Hobbycraft. See, I've gone from one extreme, really, to another. This is very girly, and this, I wouldn't say is girly. Um, I've got quite a diverse taste, I think, sometimes. And when I look at that and this, I go, really? Um, I have already cut this pattern. And I think this would be beautiful as a real sort of summery dress. Now, I need the sun to come out to be able to wear it, obviously. Um, but I do think it would work really well. Um, and I could also layer it. So because this is Great Britain um, here in the UK, our summers aren't always glorious. Um, but I thought I could have a long sleeve tee or um, just a normal T-shirt underneath with a cardigan over it. Um, but it would also be fantastic for when we do get that gorgeous hot weather 
um, and I can just wear it as a strappy dress. I really like this style dress. It reminds me of something out of the 50s and I quite like that on my body shape. Um, so making the shorter one, I'm hoping will work quite well and it is it's a structured fabric. So it will have a different look to how the one that I twirled um, will. And actually because it's a more structured fabric, it'll probably be easier to sew than the first attempt that I made. So that's everything that I've got out and actually planned and paired with my patterns from um, my stash this month. We're going to see how I get on with the no buy month. I really need to start not buying and shopping from my stash. And I think then once I, if I manage to get all of these done, I will be over the moon. Um, and then if I, I know I've got some other fabrics that I was really tempted to get out um, that I could probably carry into next month. So I'm not buying any more because I've got plenty of summery fabrics now i say this all the time but it never really materializes so june i know i will stick to i'm hoping that i can carry that into july um i know i won't be able to carry that into august because it's my birthday in august and i will absolutely want to go and spend some money on fabric for my birthday so um yeah I, this month and next month might be my opportunity i have got one other idea in my head that i'd like to make um I've been thinking about a gathered skirt um, with an elasticated waistband and I can't get the idea out of my head. Now, I struggle with these. I mean, I made the Sabina skirt and I just, I've, I've posted it on my Instagram, um, which is what Beck sews if you're interested. Um, I feel I could have gone up sizes um, to make it more gathered. Um, to, to have that vision that I, I kind of had in my head and I did mine without the ruffle because I didn't want the ruffle on it. Um, I'm thinking about self-drafting a pattern for a gathered skirt which shouldn't be too complicated um, that I can sort of bring right out so it gives me that proper gather that I want um, and then you know produces that kind of a-line look on me and probably doing it in a cotton fabric fabric with a bit more structure um, just so it, it kind of flares a little bit because of the way I want to wear it is with either my strappy tops or t-shirts just to give me that kind of figure look that skims over the belly I've got an idea in my head I don't know how I'm going to quite do this I'm going to try and draw up the pattern at some point this week um, and see how I get on um, and I will have practice before I actually make it so I will do a twirl first um, but it is a fairly straightforward make um, from what I'm thinking in my head um, but we'll see how that materialises so just watch this space on that one because that hopefully will be something that I also achieve this month like I said I've got very very ambitious plans I am working at least once every weekend as well so I'm on six day weeks I don't know how I'm going to fit it all in but we'll see what I do manage to fit in um so yeah I think that is absolutely everything for this month's plans um my daughter has very kindly drawn whilst we were on the beach and I'll pop the picture in right at the end um my channel name and to subscribe which I thought was very cute of her um so if you do like my content and you want to see more please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and if you click on that notifications bell it will also tell you when I release my content I try to release at least once a week and then tend to give you an indication of what's coming next so what is my next weekend's video well I am going to start a series once a month, like I do with my weekend sewing, where I share a repeat pattern. So it'll be a bit like a pattern review of that pattern, but it'll be a pattern that I have made several times over um, and why I keep making it and all the different versions that I've made and how they look. Um, so that is what I'm bringing to you next week. If you want to know what that pattern is, you'll have to keep an eye out for the next video that comes out. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch me today. I hope you've all had a fantastic Jubilee Bank holiday weekend and I will see you again next week. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.